Hello friends, this is Dr. Antoine Yungeko, doctor in, in international entrepreneurship. In this video, I'm going to present you another method uh, among multi-criterial decision-making methods. Remember, I have presented already nine methods which can help you to increase the way you make a decision. This method I'm going to present uh, is named the Complex Proportional Assessment Corpus. It was developed by Zabodaskas in 1994, this author. This method uh, uses both ideal and ideal worst solution. It is compensatory method as, the, as the, it's considered beneficial and non-beneficial criteria. It assumes that there is no relationship or there is independence between attributes. And as uh, if you have followed my previous videos, I have presented nine methods, which are weighted sum model, weighted product model, evaluation based on distance from average solution, meet objective optimization on basics of simple ratio analysis, technique for order preference by similarity to ideal solution, preference selection index method, Additive Ratio Assessment, ARAS, VICO, Meet Objective Optimization on the Basics of Ratio Analysis, MORA. And now we are going to see this method complex proportional assessment corpus. You will see step by step how you can use this method to make your decision. And friends, no, you know you are if you have followed my previous video you are accustomed to this um, decision matrix i use this decision matrix which has a problem of choosing best car to be bought by the decision maker using criteria like quality conditions security days delivery days fuel consumption and the price these criteria were, were grouped in two groups like beneficial attributes and non-beneficial attributes. Remember, benef uh, beneficial attributes are those criteria which we need the highest value, and non-beneficial attributes are those criteria which we need smallest value or small values. Now, as you can see, Values of this decision matrix do not have same neutral. For instance, price is neutraled in euro, but delivery days are neutraled in days. Now, what you cannot do, for instance, when you look on quality, this is what you call ordinal. It is ordinal when you compare, for instance, good, good, best, average, and so on. This is what we call norm, an ordinal value. It indicates whether the quality is excellent or is average or medium and so on. Now you cannot make a submission of, of this value. We need to do what we call normalization. When we, we, we proceed with normalization, the, or the value will no longer have unity. Now we can add, you can sum, you can subscribe when you have normalized your matrix. Now, friends, the way you will make normalization, it, you can you will take each value here divided by the sum. This is, uh, for instance, this value divided by the sum of all values. Now, what you see here, which you see weight, as you, as you have seen in, in my previous videos. The weight, we, we suppose that the weights were given, but when the weights were not given, you, we can calculate using various methods. I will try to make a, a video on how you, you can calculate weights if they are not given. And now we are, um, we are going to, to proceed with normalization. And this is the formula. I will take each value divided by the sum of each criteria. Now it's like this, friends. I take this value. I divided by the sum of, oh, sorry. I divided by the sum, sum of 
these values or this value for its criteria but i have to to fix it using one one dollar so uh, so as to copy this formula in all rows like this friends this is a uh, making matrix normalization decision matrix normalization like this i finished to make our decision matrix normalization i normalized my mat decision matrix now the next thing to do is to multiply these weights by each value of this criteria i will take this value multiplied by this this multiplied by this this value multiplied by this and so on for all criteria this is we, we, we call it weighted normalized of uh, uh, matrix weighted normalized decision matrix because i will consider my decision matrix and i will do the same because i'm we, we using excel to be easy i will just indicate the formula and then i will make a copy of the same formula now you see i take this value multiplied by this value but this value must be fixed in in the, in the law like this i use symbol dollar like this friends we must pay so much attention because when you make a mistake for instance when you put a dollar here it means all values you have here will be multiplied by this value when you put a symbol dollar like this for instance never do that when you want to copy the formula never do that and that's why you have just when i i, I add some, some symbol dollar here i only fix this value in low but it can move like move like this i can change it can change when i copy like this but when i copy uh, like this it cannot change but when i do not put dollar here when i copy for instance like this this value will, will move like this also will go down that's why i have to fix it in low like this friends now i can copy this formula look carefully friends now you will see that you see now i have this value here you will see this this value okay now friends let's go i will copy this formula down like this like this ones like this okay this is our normalized weight weighted normalized matrix we get weighted normalized decision matrix what is next i have it to separate i have it to calculate the sum of beneficial criteria on one hand and on the other hand i need to calculate the sum of non-beneficial criteria this is what i will do here beneficial criteria i might have to make a sum look at friends sum of only non-beneficial criteria like this friends you have to pay so much attention make sure the way you, you your decision matrix is you can drag the formula because when for instance here there is no beneficial criteria you have to pay too much attention or for instance when here there is beneficial criteria don't copy the formula because it's not the same in the same uh, order i, I just uh, <laughs> try to put together beneficial criteria and non beneficial criteria so as to drag the formula but so you have to pay so much attention for instance when you you, you are making a decision make sure that all beneficial criteria are together and the non-beneficial uh, criteria are together so as to copy easily the front <laughs> that's why you have to pay so much attention yeah select these friends i just close the parentheses and i can copy this formula so as to to get a sum of beneficial criteria for other cars now i can now i make a sum of non-beneficial criteria sum of non-beneficial criteria like this you know, what i'm saying here <laughs> you, you must pay so much attention so as to have all beneficial and non-beneficial range together so as to copy the formula well uh, without any problem now friends i need to calculate the minimum value from the sum of non-beneficial criteria like this i use minimum function mean i 
found this IM looking minimum value in the sum of non beneficial criteria. And this will help me in next step. This ratio also must be calculated. When I take this mean divided by all this value, will this will help me in the next step. But friends, pay so much attention here. This value must be fixed because it will not change. That's why we will use dollar here and here. Divided by, this is the formula, each value here. And I can copy the formula down. I can copy this formula down like this. And this value, this quantity, I need the sum of it. And this will help me so much, this, this, in the next step. Look, friends, in the next step, we have to calculate this quantity QI. How to do it? Look, friends, pay so much attention, difficult things begin to come. Now, I use the same, I you indicate equal function. I will take sum of beneficial criteria like this, friends like this, this, plus I open two parentheses, you see minimum value here, which will be fixed, minimum value, which will be fixed, this one, we will not move, I have to fix it like this, but it is multiplied by the sum of non-beneficial criteria like this friends multiplied by sum of non-beneficial criteria like this i select this and this matrix must be fixed because it will not change to be the same in this formula like this i finish this one this one and i we close this these parentheses two parentheses this one divided by I open parentheses I'm here friends each value of non beneficial criteria you see the sum of non beneficial criteria this one this one look friends multiplied multiplied uh, multiplied by the sum of minimum divided by the sum of each non-beneficial criteria this the sum of this one uh, sum of of what of this this ratio minimum value divided by the sum of each non-beneficial criteria now I have to fix this, this, like this, because it will not change. Okay, of four, and I have to close parentheses like this. Now the formula I finished. I can press enter. Now I can copy this formula down like this. It's not over. The game is not over, but we are near to finish our calculations. Now we will calculate quantity utility you, by using this formula. I will consider each value here, QI, divided by the maximum in QI values multiplied by 100. Like this, friends. I take this value divided by the maximum value maximum value from here i see friends but this matrix also must be fixed i insert the symbol dollar like this multiplied by 100 multiplied by 100 like this i press enter now friends i can drag down the formula like this here now as you see here 
to uh, to highlight this value as you remember you have to select all column like this for instance and you come here friends you select d value if you have a uh, computer in french but when you have a computer in english it will be top 10 values and here it will be top bottom when i will come here this will be, you will have here top 10 but here it will be top bottom when i will be, I will be working here and you select here and you you and you just indicate that it is you need one value like this for instance one value i can also change the color if you want here and i, I press okay now what is next it will be ranking our based on our count utility quantity rank this function this value from this matrix which will be fixed so as to drag it down the formula like this friends f4 i press f4 like this and then i press enter now i can copy this formula like this let's show you how you can write the value you select you see or the, this column is selected you come here and you select here you select the top bottom like this and i can just select one value and i press okay okay friends now as you can see here you see the the, the car which is selected by this method it is the car five this method a complex proportional assessment co plus also indicates that we can buy car five like previous methods that i have presented all nine methods that i have presented indicate or concluded that car five can be bought now friends you can see that our methods give best results or give give best proposition but in computation you see there are some methods which are more complicated than others that's why you have to to choose the method that you can use but it is better you have to use many methods and compare the result uh, to find whether you have same result or not friends i can tell you that you can get a certification when you follow our videos and when you you pass examinations or do some examinations of course and uh, when you have followed and you need to be certified in a mystic criteria decision making method you can you can keep in touch you can we can see a way you can go you can have a examination and then get a certification and this is the end of my presentation if you like this presentation i invite i um, invite you to like it and share it and i also invite you to subscribe to my channel uh, so as to follow all the videos that i share related to some uh, some trainings that can improve your knowledge Thank you very much for watching this video. For next video, bye friends.